home from work. It's been a while since my last video. I was supposed to make a video on Thursday with Chris. Uh, it chucked it down. Everyone got hypothermia. I didn't risk going outside after riding home for five minutes in the rain and my hands and feet going numb. The camera wouldn't have survived. Look, I found some Ray-Bans. They were just in a box. Tonight I'm heading off to Jimmy's. He lives up in London. Tomorrow we're doing some filming together. We're going on a ride with Laura Scott, the ultra distance athlete. I don't think I'm going to survive the whole ride but we have got a support car, which is lucky. We're gonna do some shooting with them, and on Sunday, some photography up in London. We're gonna try and find the weirdest places that you'd set up a turbo trainer. I need to dig out this again. Given you strict instructions on what to buy and you've forgotten. Possibly. It only takes you two minutes to get to the shop. I think there might be a text message somewhere which says what to get. It just says some bits. It says some bits. Outside the house. Where are you? You're in the house? Oh, well we're outside the house. You acquired it. No, you can't you can't put that in. <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, Jimmy's the fire warden at work. Stop over, stop over. Oh, why not? Sunshine. Can you order food through just giving? Can you order Is food eat? through just giving? It's just something, isn't it? Just Is eat. It? But on the subject of just giving, head to uh, www.justgiving forward slash Chris Hall. Are we carb loading for tomorrow? Well, I'm not riding, so I'm pretty cushioned. You're not riding at all? You will still be carb loading, no fucker. Are you, you, you going to be in the car? Uh, yeah, therefore I need to carb load. Pila, why don't you get serves two? Oh, yes. Oh, that serves one. Why don't yes. you get serves one and serves two? Because then that makes three and I don't want one. I'm okay. carb loading for tomorrow. Get, um. <laughs> Get butter, butter baked into the clay uh, in the... I, I don't think... How much Freddo's now? They're, they're, right, the 25p, but they're about to go up to 30p. We best stock up on Freddo's. Mm. Do you not think this is actually good? Because say like a kid gets given a quid pocket money to go to the sweet shop. If they could buy like... How much the Freddo's used to be? Like 10, 10 Freddo's, that's like... That's obesity weight to happen right mm. now. Like an evil villain with a bald head. Evans, we're just going to get the food. Okay. Come on. You're the boss. Five minutes. Sorry? Five minutes. minutes. Alright, cool. Cheers, man. Cold. <laughs> that, that isn't a statement. It is. The one hipster rule this. that should never be broken. Oh, What's the hipster rule? Well, you shouldn't be, should be wearing cycling cap indoors, that's the rule. Yeah. It's not a cycling cap. It's cy <laughs> cycle chic. You're struggling. Struggling? You're in a moon biscuit. Moon biscuit. One of the best. So that folds that way. Yeah. And that print. Says who? Who said we were supposed to be professional? What are you doing now? I'm trying to get. <laughs> to... I mean, they can't put that on the side. You got to add... What? I'm... What are you doing? Just dancing. It's horrible. What do you mean? This is how I dance. You're like a like a weird gif. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I didn't realise it was the weird pain. Uh, it, it looks. It looks terrible in person, doesn't it? But it's the paint that changes colour due to temperature? Nope, it's the cheap version which doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's just half. It's, it's just kind of sprayed half like orange, that. half yellow. Yeah, yeah, it's that bad. I don't even want it in the shop anymore because it's so disgusting. <laughs> so, right, it's type Benedict Cumberbatch without looking. He doesn't know how to spell it anyway, does he? Space. <laughs> Space. <laughs> D adult C N E T A Zig. Never had a puncture? I've never had a puncture before. Right. But half of the time I do ride on the Right, we're going to have a um, a race to see who can change the inner tubes first. On no, the tyres, not the inner tubes. Oh, okay, we're going we're gonna to have a race indoors. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I'm distracted by the fact he just ripped the tyre off. Shoot off, you fucking bastard. Back on! <laughs> Done! Oh. Three days later, 
<laughs> that was really hard for you, Dyer, to get on. Oh, God, how did you do that? I could, did, I, did I tell you I've not had a puncture in three and a half years? Yeah, that's why you're so shit at fixing them. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> so what are you doing? Sort myself out, mate. How did you get into cycling? I used to run, which led into me doing some triathlons because I was fiercely competitive with one of my burly Scottish mates, and he challenged me to do to race him in a triathlon, which meant I needed to buy a bike and uh, relearn how to ride. Um, and then years later, I realised I was shit at triathlon and running and cycling, so I decided to just cycle and do it relaxed. These tyres I'm running tomorrow. It's pretty light, super lightweight, um, <laughs> coming at about five kilograms a piece. Oh, nice. Um, so all in all, the bike's going to be probably about twenty kilograms, but that's brilliant. For, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty light. So Atticus is um, a cycling clothing company that Jimmy and I set up. Um, it's been going since when did we start it? Uh, l this time. In 2015, Jimmy had an idea for a cycling kit and he said to me, um, I have an idea for a striped kit. Do you think that you'd be able to put it together for me? So I was like, I'm not really sure. So my, um, I did some training at uni on the programme and I'd only ever used it to create like a magazine before. Um, so we just kind of sat down together at the computer and after maybe a couple of hours, we, we sort of created this what ended up being the first version of um the jersey and we were like wow okay so he'd had this idea for a while and he'd never been able to use the software to create it um and then all of a sudden it kind of worked and we realized that together we we had the skills to be able to actually put a, a sample kit into production i think it was all a ruse actually for jimmy to get some some uh some more cycling kits so he could be on his bike more mm -hmm. and yeah, kind of fell in love with it too. I started running at first as well, and then you realise how crap running is compared to cycling. Um, and yeah, kind of started from there really. It's about enjoying riding your bike. People want to look good, you want it to work, but it's kind of like, we're not, we're not super competitive. It's just kind of like people who are cyclists, they, they live and breathe their bike. You comfy over there? Yeah, very much so. Surrounded by bikes. How do you stroke an invisible cat? How do you hold and stroke an invisible cat? I don't know how big an invisible cat should be. That's weird. Right, well, what are we doing tomorrow? Um, we're going on a ride with Laura Scott, who um, is a sort of adventure endurance cyclist. Um, so we're going to go out to Seven Oaks in Kent and ride an 85k route. It's quite hilly. Um, with some stops along the way and we've even got a little brevet card with us that's gonna give us some sort of points of interest um, and it's all about it's Laura's ride um, this is the ride that she does when she's training when she's training for the trans arm and she's gonna take us on the route 85k am I supposed to be doing the whole ride whoa not supposed I'm not gonna survive you are I'm not gonna survive I give myself an hour. I don't know if I trust this bike. <laughs> you probably shouldn't. There's glasses in this cupboard. There is squash in the cupboard next to the bins. My viewers don't care about this. This isn't for your viewers' benefit, this is for yours. It's like a jar, not like a glass. It actually is a jar, it's not like one. We've never bought glasses, like all of these that you've been thinking out of, they were jars. Oh. You notice that. Thank, Thank you, Lloyd Grossman, for that one. So we're going to get an early night up at about six tomorrow for this ride. We've got a drive over to Kent and then we'll be riding for about five hours. I'm not ready. I was going to ruin your, oh fuck. I was, I, I was going to ruin your video and I've ruined it again. <laughs> <laughs>